I get asked this from time to time. By broadsheet newspapers, proper journalists ask, what celebrity would you most like to have sex with? Well, Angelina Jolie, I would love to have a go about. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Angelina Jolie. I got excited about it, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what celebrity would I most like to have sex with? <laughs> oh, I've lost the ability to speak. That'll come in handy. Is there a growth on my face? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll have a little swig of water. I deserve it, I feel. Uh, hmm. Hmm? <laughs> well, thanks, for, thanks very much for that, ladies and gentlemen. That could have been a fucking terrorist. <laughs> she could be here to get... This could be Serin Gash. She's... <laughs> I don't even know who the fuck that is. She's got a nice arse. She's got a nice arse. <laughs> Apparently, you've got a nut... I don't think it's really the time. It can be a bit depressing being a single man. It can be, can be a bit of a bore like. I've got an inspirational story. This will cheer you up. It concerns my friend Emily. She's, she's beautiful. <laughs> Who the fucking hell is he? <laughs> I tell you what, video piracy is becoming a real fucking problem. <laughs> this is not acceptable. <laughs> Mortgages. Mortgages are getting more expensive, but you try explaining to a homeless person how lucky they are. <laughs> I'm trying to read up about the credit crunch. The papers aren't making it easy. The Independent last week had a headline. It just said, inflation goes up. <laughs> I was going to write in and ask, do the wheels on the bus still go round and round? <laughs> of course, the credit crunch is causing pensioners to be hit hardest. Well, let go of the handbag then, Nana. <laughs> Doesn't have to be this way. <laughs> do you need to go wee wee? You're right. I do actually. You do? Well, don't worry, don't panic. Go. I'm talking about everyone. I, I know. I heard. I'm fucking here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Directions. <laughs> Not really, my department, mate. <laughs> you know where it is. You know where your winkle is. <laughs> Good boy. Out. I think the exit's probably the one. Can I move? You people all up one, and then we've still got the camera shot. He can sit at the end when he comes back. Because otherwise they'll say to me, oh, the fucking shot's gone. So you, can, well, you all move up one. Is, he, is that seat damp? You're right. <laughs> what? Oh, hello. How are you? You're right. How are we doing for time? You're right. Okay. <laughs> oh, do you not have one of these? <laughs> what? Seriously, you don't have. You know, one of these. You should get one. You're hey, just... doing her. What, sorry? You're doing her. Are you... <laughs> no, she was touching my face. <laughs> I realised you're a bit confused. <laughs> Are you doing her? <laughs> What's it like? <laughs> Do you have any pictures? <laughs> oh, bless his little heart. Thank God you're back. You've you got to sit at the end. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you've got to sit at the end. We move, we move them all along so we have the camera shot. Mongo, don't try and pick a fight. <laughs> Just sit down there in the empty seat. Don't pick on him, he's clearly very ill. <laughs> Don't panic, we've got security. <laughs> You'll be fine. You're my new favourite. <laughs> Just because you've got a bladder like a mouse's purse... <laughs> You'll be fine. As soon as the floodgates open, then this has got to happen. Every 15 minutes, I'll be out there again another 15 minutes. <laughs> Was that a very long word? <laughs> or are you slurring everything into one? <laughs> <laughs> I often get asked, what's the worst heckle? Now, occasionally, at a gig like this, someone will shout, fuck off your shit! <laughs> and I'll think, oh, if I had 20 pounds for every time that happened. <laughs> I do know the story of the worst heckle of all time. It happened to a lady called Pia Zadora. 
very beautiful and talented actress in her prime. This happened years and years later. She hadn't worked in 20 years in Hollywood, and she wanted to be taken seriously as an actress because her looks had faded over the years. So she decided to put on a play, invite loads of people to the play. They would come along, see the show, and, and think, well, she's brilliant. Well, let's put her in the movies. Great idea. She put on the Anne Frank Diaries. <laughs> so it's the Anne Frank Diary. There's no sequel. Spoiler alert for you. <laughs> She cast herself as Anne Frank. She was 55 at the time and, crucially, not Jewish. <laughs> it's like me playing Winnie Mandela. It's terrible <laughs> casting. So the play was meant to run for six weeks and she was going to invite all the Los Angeles kind of glitterati down to see the performance and make a big deal of it. It ran for two nights. Because on the second night, 40 minutes in, someone from the back shouted, She's in the attic! <laughs> How bad's that? How bad does the theatrical performance have to be that it made an audience member collaborate with the Nazis? <laughs> when the Iraq war started, little did President Bush know. <laughs> now he's left office, Bush is going to devote the next two years to finishing his book. He can't believe that caterpillar is still hungry. <laughs> A lot of people don't like the fact that Tony Blair, now he's stopped being Prime Minister, is now making £10 million a year on the international lecture circuit. But I don't mind, I think it's fair enough. You know, he's got mouths to feed, one of which is enormous. <laughs> what did you guys make of Barack Obama getting in? What do you think? Pretty, pretty, pretty good day, wasn't it? Yeah. I watched it all day on the news, that inauguration. Two million people turning up in Washington to see history being made. And all the pundits were queuing up to describe Barack Obama. And they all said the same thing. They all described Barack Obama as being like a cross between JFK and Martin Luther King. I thought, yeah, we get it. He's going to get shot. <laughs> you might as well call him the new Jill Dando. <laughs> what did you make of Hillary Clinton? Because she came that close, didn't she? She was that close to the biggest job in the world, President of the United States of America. Yeah, she's been an inspiration to women all over the world. She's shown women everywhere that there are limits. <laughs> Back in your box. <laughs> you can now buy a baby monitor with a range of one mile. If anyone's thinking, that sounds good, you shouldn't be allowed children. <laughs> Did you read about the 65-year-old woman having a baby? 65 years of age and she had a baby. I thought, how badly did she want to see on the bus? <laughs> did you all see the story about the man having a baby? That was the headline around the world. Man has a baby. Not really, though, was it? Because it was a man with a fully operational vagina and womb. <laughs> so, womb man <laughs> has a baby. Womb man sounds a bit clunky. What could we shorten that to? <laughs> oh, I know. Woman. <laughs> The headline should have been, Incredibly Ugly Woman Has a Baby. <laughs> and that happens all the time. That's what beer is for. <laughs> he was interviewed, this guy Thomas Beattie was interviewed. He said, just because I don't have a penis doesn't make me any less of a man. <laughs> That's exactly what it means. You are precisely eight and a half inches less of a man. <laughs> Just to clarify, he was, he was, a, he was a man, like, like you and I, he was a man, but he didn't have a... He didn't have a Mr Tinkle. <laughs> he didn't have a tummy banana. <laughs> but he was a man, so he had a man fanny. A manny. <laughs> a mange. <laughs> a mash. <laughs> a manhole. <laughs> a munt. <laughs> yeah, a sneaky little drink. Hang on, one sec. Oh. Do feel free to heckle if you want. There's a lot of jokes, but you can... You lost too much weight, Jimmy. What, sorry? You lost too much weight. I've lost too much weight. I've put weight on. I was eight pounds. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with me. <laughs> also, if we're going to sort of be, I don't know, maybe concerned about others' personal appearances... <laughs> Maybe the man that looks like a microphone <laughs> shouldn't be talking. <laughs> what do you do for a living? So you look as if you should be a drummer in a band. I am in a band. You are in a band. Of course you're in a band. <laughs> of course. Be, there's no other excuse for that. <laughs> Not that a lot of people don't like my hair. A lot of people think I wear a wig. <coughs> or it's a comb-over or something. I haven't got a comb-over. Well, not there. <laughs>
I do have one massive pube that I just loop around. <laughs> it's quite something, you would enjoy it. <laughs> what, what band do you win? Uh, it's called Origami Dinosaur. <laughs> You're an Origami Dinosaur? <laughs> oh, my God! They're like my favourite band. <laughs> oh, hang on, I'm thinking of Coldplay. Uh, <laughs> 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 we'll check in again with Origami Dinosaur later. <laughs> People with Tourette's. <laughs> what makes them tick? <laughs> that was originally about suicide bombers. I've toned it down for you. 